Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner where today we are doing a journal flip through. I have never really done one of these. I think maybe I did one with Rocky a while back, like a long while back, but did it ever get posted to YouTube? I don't remember. Uh, doesn't matter. So this is my Mermaid 2020, little my, my little Jane Davenport canvas journal. And uh, I drew a little face on the cover. She did most of this. I added some green and blue dots and whatever, you know, but. I just jazzed it up to what was already jazzy. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is my Jane Davenport journal for Mermaid 2020. Um, as you know, I did the Animal Crossing, I was inspired by the fish from Animal Crossing New Horizon. And uh, yeah, so we have the Pale Chub for the first one. And I did add like little things to the pages throughout. So not that you're really gonna be able to tell, but if you had a side-by-side -side comparison, maybe you would see the differences. I don't know. Ah, uh, the piranha. I like her teeth. She's fun. It's so bizarre. Like, some of these that I think... It's just... The ones that I think are gonna do better than others don't. And it's really bizarre. Like, people's tastes. So strange. Oh, A little snapping turtle. That's so much fun. I love, like, the glittery shimmeriness of that. I don't know what the best way is to show it off. But there it is. Gorgeous. Oh, a little guppy. I don't know if you can see her eyes, but her eyes are really cool. Ooh, shiny. So many fun little special effects art materials out there. It's insane. But um, yeah, carrying on. Ooh, we've got the arowana. She's looking a little crazy. She's got crazy face. But we like her. Added some circles, some sparkles. Again, there's lots of like shiny, shimmery things on the pages. I think the uh, koi ended up being the shiniest of all the fish. Uh, the arapaima, I think is how it's pronounced. I was told and you know, it's been forever, but pretty sure it's arapaima. Just black and red, simple colors. Um, this is a good way, if you have the mermaid markers, picking one or two colors and just working with those and water, excellent way to get used to them. Highly recommend. The sea butterfly, I put it right there just because, I don't know, I thought it was cute. Didn't want to do anything over there because I'm lazy sometimes. The zebra turkey fish, <laughs> just popped it in there because I'm quality. Um, I really like her though. I love working colored pencils on top of like colorful backgrounds. So much fun. Oh, the barred knife jaw. This one also has some really fun and interesting colored watercolors on it. It's weird because it looks yellow when it's not shiny. And then when it is shiny, I can't get it to shine over here. Oh, there we go. It's like blues and purples. Very fun stuff. Very metallic, very shimmer glimmer. Oh, there's me. I have a whole page to fill. But uh, yeah, there's the ribbon eel. Looking good, Kimball Merman. The Bitterling, I love this one. It was started off with the stamps, which totally just looked like eyes to me, but like, you know, creepy eyes, but like giant lashes. That was a lot of fun. And then I added some other dibbly doo dads over there. Oh my gosh, the Oarfish. She's kind of spooky looking, but I'm in love with her. Although I am annoyed because I didn't wait for the drama sticks to dry. So there was a lot of cross transference when I closed it. My bad. It's not doing it anymore, but I closed it a little prematurely. Oh well. Oh my gosh, okay, so here's the koi, which I added a little hair, kind of fixed up her jawline as best I could. But you guys, like she is so loaded with shiny stuff. I couldn't be stopped. It was a lot of fun. I mean, it started off with those shiny sprays and just went crazy. I just went to town with every shiny product I had. There's a lot of glitzy Jane Davenport markers in there. There's a lot of like the spray from the Tim Holtz and Diane Reilly maybe? I'm not sure who, I don't, I don't know. Actually, I think they're all Tim Holtz sprays. Anyway, moving on. This is the blue Marlin with my, I think that was the Daniel Smith watercolors. Those are always fun. Here we have the Neon Tetra. I love, I'm so obsessed with mermaid markers, you guys. They are so rich in colors. Like it's so easy to create. Okay, well for me, I'm drawn to colors. So 
it's really easy for me to create a piece that I like just because it's so colorful and so strong in color. But yeah, we love her. Uh, the bluegill. Did it, yeah, I did these with the Jane Davenport Aqua Pastels. Those are so much fun. Like they give a nice pencil-y texture underneath. You can like spread the color pretty far once you get them wet. A lot of fun, they blend nicely. They're just like watercolors. I mean, they are, they're like watercolor in a stick form. Uh, the sweet fish, she doesn't look very sweet. I should have drawn her like sweet, but as you can remember, maybe the big old catastrophe that was her seashell hair. Yeah, the pattern on that was too big. I should have cut out like an actual hair shape and you know, whatever, the, what I did, it looked like she was peeking through like a cutout in a stone wall or something, I don't know. But she turned out all right. She looks a little bitter, but she's sweet, right, right? Okay. Uh, the rainbow fish. I love rainbows. And hey, it's Pride Month, so, you know, she's got her pride on. She's all rainbowy. Uh, the beta fish. This is where I started having, like, oh, burnout, I guess was the word, because I just didn't know what to do. So I started using my uh, Jane Davenport stencils to get the basics done so I could get right to coloring. And these were with the Neo Color 2s. I did like the dots all over and sprayed it to get it wet and that didn't work out very well so I had to just color over everything but still had a lot of fun. I think she's pretty, I love her eyes. This one I did the Mahi Mahi. I did her with the uh, Ohuhu markers but then I came back later, added some watercolor background I think. But I definitely went over her with watercolors which I'll be doing this more in the future. It was very cool, like, it goes on top of markers really well, and then I did a lot of white paint pen stuff. So yes, I've seen that technique before. I think um, Sophia Liu on YouTube uses it a lot. Like, she'll do markers and then go over with watercolor and colored pencil. I will definitely be doing that more. I've seen it a lot, now I'm gonna do it a lot. This is the tilapia, which is such a pretty fish in the game, by the way, I've been catching it a lot lately. Um, but she was fun. Used a little Jane Davenport seashell stamp. Some little glittery, sparkly fish over here. Gave her some jewelry. I think I gave her more of a background. I don't remember what the original looked like. The butterfly fish. This one is also very sparkly. It's like really pretty when it's when you see like the sparkle and metallic. But then like when you don't, it kind of looks dirty. <laughs> and it's probably just because it's like the mica grains. You know, it looks like dirt but when it's sparkly, it's pretty. A little Napoleon fish, chubby little dude. He's got hips for days. I mean, I feel, I feel like he wouldn't swim very fast. Like his head is as big as his body, but he's, he's succeeding in life. Oh, the clownfish. And I don't, I was totally gonna make her a clown, but then I didn't, cause I wanted to stick to this color scheme. And then I could have like, I could have done like clown makeup in these colors. Ah, I blew it, maybe next time. But I do love like working with the Derwent Inktense pencils. That was a lot of fun. So much fun that I did it the next day and uh, gave her lots of sparkly silver freckles. Gotta love it. I also love doing like dark, like dark hair and whatnot on top of really bright backgrounds. Ah, oh, this girl, the goldfish. I played around with her a bit more. I was kind of experimenting with what could go on top, like the uh, License to Quill pen. These are some Jane Davenport paint over pens on top of white pen, and she's still a work in progress. I gave her nipples, don't look. Children avert your eyes. Um, this is the King Salmon, or the Queen Salmon. And I think I just added a bit more pencil work to her once I finished. Didn't really do too much, I don't think. I think that was there already. Probably. Seems like something I would have done, I don't know. Here's the golden trout. Added a couple fishies over there. Nothing too much, and if you didn't notice, yes, I did cut out the fish and added them to all the pages. I could have said that in the very beginning. Ah, uh, the barrel eye. That fish is kind of gross, but really cool looking, but also gross. Uh, I think she's one of my favorites. I really liked drawing over top with the white paint pen and how it like pulled the mermaid marker through and it made it like a really pale blue. I enjoyed that. I will definitely be doing more pieces similar to that. 
the red snapper. She's very fiery. She reminds me of like a fire mermaid. She could be like Phoenix, but as a mermaid. We love her. And then this was the last one, the surgeon fish. And of course I had to like finish out my book. So I think if I remember, I think this page I smeared leftover like paint on, did some circles. So I drew it as my characters. So this is Moisha, this is Moxie, this is Bougle, and that's Elgi. And they're just different variations of my characters. Uh, Rocky and I created them a long time ago, so I draw them often. I think they're adorable. Uh, this, I saw Jane do like a video using her, an old credit card or something, and she was smearing paint. So of course I wanted to do that. Uh, and then I didn't know what to do on top. And this side was less interesting, so I just did a little pencil piece up top there from ooh, this statue. There she is, looking that way. Just put that back. Ah, I like statues, it's a thing. Uh, Pride Month, I just did like a self-portrait because obviously. Um, and then, oh, guys, intermission time. There is a blank spread and I got these in the mail. They got here somewhat fast. Well, they got to the States somewhat fast, but then they just sat in New York for like a week. So they are here officially. They are the Jane Davenport Ladybug Daughters. I know most of you have probably already seen them, but I have them now, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, this is the Having a Ball set, which I believe is the more pastel set. And this is the Spot On set, which is a lot more richer in color, a lot more saturated. I'm gonna do something in the pastels because uh, I'm gonna do something with these ones in another video. I think, probably, more than likely. I might use these a lot, I'm not sure. So I haven't even opened these yet. So I am going to find a page in the back of my book, swatch them out and uh, get them activated, see how that goes. What do we got back here? I don't, I don't wanna reveal anything. Schmears. All right, so let's do this together. Oh my God, the colors are so pretty. Does that have, do they have sparklies in them? I, I am like seeing sparklies. Is that just a me thing? Maybe I had sparklies on this page, but I can see, I don't know if you guys can. My camera's set on manual focus, or on, yeah, so it's not gonna focus, but I can see little sparkles in there. I'll do a close up later, if I remember. I should remember, it's very important. So now that I have my swatches, I am going to do something with them. Ooh, let's find out if they're water reactive. Just real quick. Just, just barely. I'm gonna revisit my very first mermaid, the uh, Pale Chub, just because it is pink and blue. Of course, I'm gonna use all the colors, but whatever, it'll be fun. So yeah, it's gonna be a fast video, guys, so uh, don't blink. Let's get to it. All right, I was gonna do a super fast speed through, but I don't think I will. I think I'll, uh, just kind of, you know, do like I do. I was just taking a peek to see how she was looking. I gotta make it, a, I gotta make it quite big just because if it's small, it's gonna be really hard to do any detailing. But I'm gonna draw whatever I want, really. Trying to keep it pretty light. Also, it just doesn't really matter. A couple of scriggles. Scriggles and squiggles. We're gonna work with this. I'll come back in with a little colored colored pencil at the end. And I mean, there's nothing left to do but just start, you know? Have no idea how it's gonna go. I don't know how they're gonna layer. And I don't care, cause this is a party unto itself. I know I'm gonna be using purple for shading. Big dots, little dots, all the dots. I might open the other one just to get 
a bright yellow. You know what, we're mixing them. Gotta keep these over here though. Pink macaroon. Nice. This one is red lollipop. And this one is a lemon slice. Oh, that makes me want lemon cake so bad right now. You guys, I'm loving this. <laughs> oh my God. It's so fun and so easy and carefree. It's just like plop plop. Well, that sounds gross. That sounds like a duty. Trying to somewhat create a skin tone with that bright yellow. It's one of those, you gotta look at it from about five feet away. You know, from a distance, everything looks a little better. Use the gray for shading of the whites of her eyes. Maybe even the pupil. You can actually just use gray for shading as well, just to kind of add a little contrast and darkness, because I kind of went crazy with all the colors, now it's everywhere. So let's define it just a little bit. I could also, I've seen Jane, like she'll dip it in water to create some giant splats, which I am loving, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much fun. I don't even care if the picture turns out. Okay, I kind of do, I shouldn't say that. And then we'll dip the pink. And the pink should be much more subtle because it's already pastel. All right, I'm gonna give this a blow dry just to get that water dried up and then I'll continue daubing away. All right, let's see if we can uh, fine tune this just a little bit. More gentle daubing. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick dry and then go over it with some colored pencil. All right, so I just grabbed a couple of colors. I have my two original colors, the uh, pastel pink and blue, and then I grabbed like a stronger pink, a red, and a blue. So let's get in here and uh, you know, pretend like we can see those lines. All right, you guys, that's good enough. It was just a fun one, just to just to play with the, the daughters. Anybody else wanna sing the Daughters of Triton when they say daughters? Like these could totes be the Daughters of Triton. So yes, that is that. I am gonna have a ball with these. They are gonna be great for backgrounds, great for pictures like this. And uh, yep, I hope you guys have fun. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Uh, there might be some more after this, I don't know, but this is a nice little intermission. I will uh, see you guys later. Take care, stay safe, and uh, let's finish the video. Bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I What can I say, dude? The daughters were a lot of fun. Went to town with them. I just couldn't stop myself. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna take these. Oh, and like they're sparkly. Like I didn't know that the, um, 
Which ones? The having a ball set have like sparkles in them. So I am here for the sparkle, obviously. But that was a lot of fun. And then I also saw Jane do, basically she paints this with water, like she'll paint an area just with clear water, clean water. And then uh, she used, I think she used incredible inks. I know I used incredible inks and I dabbed them and then it just spreads out wherever the water is. I didn't use green, it's just this color and yellow, but hey, totally turned out. And I enjoy it, I think it looks really pretty. A fun technique, love doing it. This was another page where I had some leftover paint from something else. I don't think I was actually painting in here, but thought, hey, why not? Purple, brown, look really gorgeous together. So had fun with that. Um, this was fun with a jelly plate and paint smears and Lord knows what else, but I was painting with everybody, or with every, with everybody. I was painting with everything that I had. Um, you know, just having fun. And uh, yeah, gotta draw those. Something there, I don't know what's gonna be. Testing page, I think this was actually a testing page, but I'll still draw something there. Why not? Leftover rainbow smears from my brayer. And that's it, you guys. That is my journal flip through. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope you enjoyed the little intermission. And I will see you guys next Friday with more artwork. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but hey, I'm gonna do something and I hope you're there to watch. Take care you guys and stay safe and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.